If you woke up standing in a circle with no clue what is going on and people started getting zapped every couple of minutes, would you figure out a way to survive? You start off in a circular room with a bunch of strangers with red circles under everyone's feet and arrows pointing towards everyone. There's also a black dome-shaped object in the middle of the room. One lady wakes up, steps off the circle, and is zapped immediately. It shows her lying on the floor with blood coming out of her eyes before she is dragged off, so I think it's safe to assume that she's dead. In reality, I bet more than one person would do this. Your fight or flight would kick in and a lot of people would try and run, so it would probably cut the group in half at least. After a few minutes of people getting zapped, the group figures out they can move an arrow on the floor and they have to vote on who the next person to get eliminated would be. So all we know is that every couple of minutes, the person with the most votes dies. Looking around the room, there doesn't seem to be anything in common with the people chosen. It's pretty random. With this knowledge, you know that anything you say is going to be used against you, so the best strategy is to just stay quiet and not make yourself a target, but that is only going to get you so far. Of course, making political statements in this situation is pretty stupid. What's the matter? But you think it's okay for a child to be raised with two gay lives? You have no idea what the beliefs that people in the room have. Oh well, with each person that goes, it increases your chances of getting out. Or does it? You will see later why it doesn't really matter if you get zapped sooner or later. In the end, you aren't making it out of here. This cop accused this guy of beating up his girlfriend. He should have just lied and said he didn't do it. But unfortunately, this isn't a court of law. You don't need beyond a reasonable doubt here. People are looking for any reason to get rid of you. So yeah, admitting to beating his girlfriend was pretty stupid. It's got what she deserved. But in the end, whether you're guilty or not, if someone accuses you of something, your ass is getting fried. Early on, these two pretended that they were married. Seems like a good idea when there's a room full of people, and it probably did take a target off them for a while. Nobody wants to kill someone in front of their spouse. The problem is, as time goes on and there are fewer people, someone is going to raise the question, are you married or are you just trying to save yourselves? In the movie, all someone had to ask is, What's his name? And she couldn't immediately answer the question, so they all knew that they were lying, and we all know what happens next. The most likely outcome from this movie is the last two people left vote for each other, they tie, then they both get zapped. So the way I see it, there's only two ways to survive this movie. One is to find someone who is willing to sacrifice themselves for you and make sure you are the last two left. Yeah, right, like that is going to happen. Really, there's only one way to survive, which is to make someone think you're willing to sacrifice yourself for them at the end. You also need to convince someone else to off themselves for her at the end too. The only way this works is if the other person steps off the circle at the exact right time, she doesn't vote, and you cast a last second vote on her to kill her, which is what happens in the movie. If this doesn't go absolutely perfect, you're screwed. There's just too many ways for this to get messed up. Maybe the little girl gets cold feet and doesn't step off. Maybe the pregnant lady notices you vote and also votes for you last second, or possibly you just get voted out earlier in the movie. There's just no way to ensure that you get out of here alive. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.